Hey everyone, Dash Attack here, and guess what? I'm freaking pissed. I am freaking pissed. So I have did a couple of videos about how excited I am for Visions of Mana and possibly getting into this like small little series that was originally part of Final Fantasy. Well, uh, the developers that I guess um, were making the game, they're not owned by Square, they're owned by some other Chinese company. And they're shutting it down right after the game releases, apparently. I've heard, like, that it might not be true, but it seems like it's being widely reported, so I have to assume that it is. So we're going to read uh, Spencer's article about this. On one of the fastest turnaround times between a game releasing and its studio shutting down perhaps ever seen developer oku studios has reportedly been shuttered by parent company net easy games just a day after the newest title visions of mana was released to the public or oh, shit the news regarding oku studios was first detailed by bloomberg on who on August 29th reported that, per insider sources, NetEasy has cut all but a handful of jobs at its Okuka studio in Tokyo, ahead of their newly decided plans to shut, down, uh, shut the Shibuya outfit. The few that remain will oversee the rollout of its final game before the studio winds down, noted Pressed on the news by reporters, the Chinese-based NetEasy informed they had nothing to announce regarding the specific closure of Oko Studios, instead choosing to provide with a canned PR statement. Notably, this announcement of Oko Studios shutdown comes just four years after it was first established. Shit. This is freaking awful. <laughs> Not how this was supposed to go. Square Enix should really like go in and buy the studio, like you know, for making this game for them. It it's just, ah, uh, you know, th th this game looks so fucking beautiful. I can't wait to play it, and I I feel it's what the industry needed. Like you know, I don't see any uh like red flags with it at all. It looks very traditional. It looks very Japanese. Character designs look great. It looks colorful. I, um... Square should should save this studio. Like, who cares if it costs them a pretty penny? They waste so much money on other useless crap anyway. You spend that money on something useful. These devs are talented. I can't wait to play this game. I started a hashtag, um, Save Okuka Studios. It's not getting a heck of a lot of traction, but I've seen other people make the same request for Square Enix to save the studio. And, um, you know, I'm using my platform to help maybe, like, get some people to that cause. But this, this isn't right. The game looks fantastic. Ugh. So, so, so disappointing. Oh, hey, this guy has a right idea. Let Square Enix pick them up and keep them on as one of their studios for AA games. Please, NetEasy and Tencent legitimately do not understand how the game market works unless it involves gotcha and quick short-term gains. Totally agree. I'm gonna look at some more comments. So every studio that respects their audience and doesn't include woke stuff are getting shut down. This can't be the end like that. We need Visions of Mana Studio. This fucking stupid. I hope someone prefer a, a Korean company buys the IP and revives the studio. This is bullshit. Everyone, everyone's just saying how awful this is. It just fucking sucks. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm just getting angry talking about it. Oh!
Oh, Black Sage. Watch how Visions of Mana sells and NetEasy realizes how stupid this decision was. Didn't even give this game the chance to start making numbers. The industry is run by absolute circus clowns. Spot on. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video. I'm Dash Attack. I'll see you all next time.